हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पैसेंजर कार यूनिट दिस एस्टिमेशन ऑफ पैसेंजर कार यूनिट वैल्यू इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ट्रैफिक कैपेसिटी एनालिसिस एंड ऑल्सो इन अदर एप्लीकेशन सच एज लेवल ऑफ सर्विस मेजर्स डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ सच फ्लो रेट एट सिग्नल कंट्रोल इंटरसेक्शंस डिजाइन ऑफ सिग्नल्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ट्रैफिक फ्लो मॉडल्स एंड मेनी मोर सच ट्रैफिक फ्लो एनालिसिस सो The first question is why do we need these equivalency factors? We need equivalency factors because traffic on not only in India but all countries is of mixed type. The physical characteristics of different types of vehicles are different, and their operating conditions are also different, and they basically impact the capacity and level of service in different manners. And particularly in developing nations. the land discipline is very poor on roads now here in both of these photographs the traffic is heterogeneous now this is also called heterogeneous traffic because it also consists of cars and few heavy vehicles and this is also a mixed traffic or you can say heterogeneous traffic where the number of vehicle categories are many homogeneous traffic consists of only cars whereas heterogeneous traffic will consist of cars and one or more number of other vehicle categories in many situations one lane is used by more than one vehicle and therefore the headway measurement becomes extremely difficult and particularly if you say in developing countries like india the variety of vehicles on roads is huge and this mixing of motorized and non motorized vehicles create a very peculiar situation of traffic operations at intersections and also in urban areas and because of this reasons the expression of volume or capacity in terms of vehicles per hour is meaningless because when you say the traffic volume on a road is let us say 500 vehicles per hour now this value of 500 has no meaning unless you explain what this 500 consist of 500 cars on a vehicle on a road 500 trucks on a road 500 motorcycles on a road will have completely different operating conditions to account for this mixed traffic this concept of passenger car unit was first introduced in 1965 highway capacity manual and that was for a stream of car and trucks since then good research has been done after publication of scm 1965 and many methods have been evolved over the years the highway capacity manual 1965 first defined passenger car unit as the number of passenger cars displaced in traffic flow by a truck or a bus under the prevailing roadway and traffic conditions now this definition was redefined in 2010 as the number of passenger cars which will result in the same operational conditions as a single heavy vehicle of a particular type under a specified roadway traffic and control conditions now you can see here the difference between these two definitions here it takes the passenger cars displaced in traffic flow now it doesn't talk about the operational conditions whereas in 2010 definition it is creating the same operational conditions so the level of service is also coming uh, here in picture in 2010 definitions in 1965 another definition of pcu was given by transport road search laboratory of uk and it says like this on any particular section of road under particular traffic condition if the addition of one vehicle of a particular type per hour will reduce the average speed of the remaining vehicles by the same amount as the addition of say x cars of average size per hour then one vehicle of this type is equivalent to x pcu so this definition is very clear it talks about the speed speed as a parameter so if you add one truck to the traffic stream it will certainly reduce some average speed of the traffic stream Now, for mixed traffic, the Indonesian Highway Capacity Manual, that is ISCM, defined PCU as the conversion factor for different vehicle types, 
with regard to their impact on capacity as compared to a passenger car. Now here in Indo Highway Capacity Manual, the capacity of a facility is compared for two conditions. One when you have whole car and when you have car plus other category of the vehicle. There are several methods available in literature to find PCU factors for different types of vehicles and these methods are different for multi-lane highway, for urban roads and for intersections. On a inter-urban inter highway, these are six, seven methods, homogenization coefficient method, Walker's method, simultaneous equations method, linear regression analysis method, headway ratio method and simulation method. In case of homogenization coefficient method, which is a very old method, here the theoretical capacities are compared when different types of vehicles are exclusively using the road. Means when you have a situation where there are all cars, what is the capacity of the road? And you take another situation when there are all trucks, then what is the capacity of the road? The ratio of these two is the PCU factor for the truck. And therefore, it is only a theoretical method and the passenger car unit for any type of vehicle I according to this method is given by this, math, this equation Li into Vc upon Lc into Vi where L is the length of the vehicle and V is the speed of the vehicle I stand for vehicle type I for which PCU is being determined and C stands for standard passenger car and this method was used for ideal traffic stream of single vehicle type that is either for all cars, all buses or all two wheelers. The Walker's method is based on the number of overtakings that would be performed per kilometer length of highway if each vehicle continued at its normal speed. So there are two types of vehicles in the traffic stream. One is fast vehicle, another is slow vehicle. So fast vehicle is moving at speed S1 and slow vehicle is moving at speed S2 and this fast vehicle will overtake X vehicles per hour which are traveling at speed S2 within 1 kilometer of highway and Y is the number of vehicles per hour traveling at speed S1. So number of overtakings is given by this equation. So the PCU for truck by Walker's method is calculated by this equation 100 n2 upon n1 where n2 is the number of overtaking in a stream of 99 cars plus one truck and n1 is the number of overtaking in a stream of 100 cars. So you can see that this method can only be used in simulation because in actual conditions you will not find this, this type of traffic stream where you have 100 cars or you have 99 cars plus one truck. According to this method, the passenger car unit will reduce when the speed of slower vehicles increases. Means when there is no requirement of overtaking. When the speed of slow vehicle and speed of fast vehicle is same, there is no requirement of overtaking and therefore PCU factor will be 1. Headways are also used in estimation of PCU by taking proportion of commercial vehicles into consideration. And PCU by this method is given by this equation that is the average headway between heavy vehicles divided by average headway between two cars. It is a simple method but as I told you in the beginning that measurement of headway is difficult in case of mixed traffic conditions. Now simultaneous equation method is also based on headway but it is more general and can be used in mixed traffic conditions also rather than having only for car and truck. Now here headway in case of mixed traffic that is the average headway in case of mixed traffic divided by headway between I type of vehicle is given by this equation C1 plus C2 into E2 plus C3 into E3 plus and so on where N is the number of vehicle categories and C is the proportion of a particular vehicle type and E is the equivalency factor. So when you regress this ratio with the proportion of different types of vehicles, then the coefficient of this equation will give you the equivalency factors. 
Now, multiple linear regression method. In this case, the speed of the car is regressed against volume of different types of vehicles like this. V1, that is the speed of car, is equal to A0 plus A1 Q1 plus A2 Q2 and so on. Where Q1, Q2, Q3 is the flow of vehicle type 1, 2, 3 in the traffic stream. And PCU for a vehicle type N will be given by the ratio of the coefficients that is A N upon A1 where Q1 is taken as the number of cars per hour. Now method of simulation has also been used by several researchers where the, the PCU factors have been determined either based on capacity, based on headway because simulation provides you flexibility of measuring all parameters and therefore you can find out the PCU by any method, any of the methods which I described earlier. Now if you compare these methods, PCU value on an interurban road by these methods that is homogenization coefficient method, Walker's method, headway method, simultaneous equations method, multiple linear regression analysis. They give different values for same category of the vehicle. And if you see here for LCV light commercial vehicles, the PCU factor changes from 0.78 to minus 19. Now that is the weakness of these two methods. Simultaneous, simultaneous equation method or multiple linear regression analysis that any change in the sign of the coefficient here will result in the negative PCU factor. So if any of these coefficient is negative, it will give you negative PCU factor. Now negative PCU factors cannot be explained by any logic and therefore these are not very widely used methods in literature. Now to overcome the weaknesses of these methods, there is another method which was suggested in 1994 by Chandra and that is PCU of a vehicle type I is given by the speed ratio divided by the area ratio of a vehicle type with respect to passenger car. Where V is the speed of the vehicle and A is the projected rectangular area of the vehicle type I or a car on the surface of the road. C here stands for car and I represents the vehicle type I. Now this equation looks very simple but it is very complex because the speed will change with every geometric parameter, every flow parameter on the road. And therefore, speed is to be modeled separately for different operating conditions. So this gives you a dynamic value of passenger car unit because speed is dynamic. Now here, this denominator AC upon AI is a constant parameter for a vehicle type I. But this ratio will change with respect to operating conditions. So it will change with flow, it will change with density, it will change with geometry, it will change with number of lanes, it will change with the side friction conditions also, it will be different for urban roads, will be different for interurban highways and therefore this method gives you dynamic passenger car unit. Passenger car unit at uncontrolled intersections is suggested based on occupancy time. And this method has been used in India Heavy Capacity Manual also. So PCU by this method is given by ratio of occupancy time multiplied by ratio of width of the vehicle. Where OTI and OTC are the occupancy times of vehicle type I and passenger car and WI and WC are the width of the vehicle type I and passenger car. Now here occupancy time is defined as the time elapsed between the front end of the vehicle entering the conflict area and its rear end clearing the conflict area. So this is the time a vehicle occupies the conflict area at uncontrolled intersection. So this will depend upon the type of movement also. For through traffic it will be different, for turning traffic it will be different and in case of turning traffic also for left turners occupancy time will be low and for right turners it will be large. PCU based on movement capacity is also suggested at uncontrolled intersection by some researchers. Now here movement capacity is basically any of the priority movement at uncontrolled intersection. 
So we find out the potential capacity in terms of passenger car and potential capacity in terms of a vehicle type I and ratio of these two will give passenger car unit for vehicle type I. At roundabouts, it can be either based on flow rate or it can be based on occupancy time again. Based on the flow rate, PCU was developed such that the variation in the entry capacity in various mixes of cars and heavy vehicles was minimized. That means the PCU factor should be such that when you compare the capacity under different types of mixtures, the variation in capacity should be minimum and that is the primary definition of PCU factor that flow in terms of a common unit must be constant. Now based on occupancy, it is the same that occupancy time, ratio of occupancy time multiplied by ratio of area. Now here instead of width, the area at roundabout has been taken. So it is occupancy time of vehicle type I, occupancy time of car and AI is the area of the vehicle type I and AC is the area of car, passenger car. PCU at signals is based on delay or it can be based on departure headway or it can be based on some optimized technique. Now when you say based on delay, it is given by this equation PCU for vehicle type I is 1 plus delta DI upon DC where delta DI is the additional delay caused by a vehicle type I and DC is the average delay in stream of passenger car. So here the idea is that if you have a stream of all cars, what is the average delay at signal? And when you have a mixed drive, let us say car and heavy vehicles, so what is the additional delay caused to the traffic stream because of presence of these uh, heavy vehicles? So that is delta DI. So 1 plus delta DI upon DC is the passenger car unit. Now based on departure headway, Headway is measured at the stop line when signal is green and that is the headway between two vehicles of type I divided by headway between two passenger cars. When following and leading all are of vehicle type I and when they are cars, what is the headway? Departure headway at a stop line, the ratio of these two is PCU factor. Now, optimization technique is also suggested in highway, Indian Highway Capacity Manual, where again the PCU factor should be such that the cycle to cycle variation in the departure rate in terms of passenger car should be minimized. So the, the passenger car unit should be calculated based on some optimization which will minimize the variation in suggestion flow from one cycle to another cycle. So PCU is a multidimensional parameter and must be evaluated carefully. Thank you for watching this video. You can write your feedback and questions in the comment box.